completely new content today. This is a full follow along golf workout for the lower body. You're gonna need some bands and a weight. Kettlebell or dumbbell is fine. We're gonna run through the sets and reps with you. We're gonna coach you on the movements and we're gonna help you to golf strong. This workout has three distinct parts. Mobility, stability, and then dynamic movement. Make sure you follow all the way through to get the full golf workout. So we start with mobility. We're focusing in on the hips. It's a huge area for any golfer to improve. We want to activate the glutes and loosen off the hip flexors. That allows you access to the big muscles and that's where you're gonna base your golf swing. We're gonna start with 10 reps of a simple glute bridge. Feet flat on the ground, knees up, and then really feels that like your lower body, your lower back is level to the ground. We're not arching up. Feels those are, we're nice and flat. Hands can be at the side or above your body. And from here, with your feet flat to the ground, you're gonna curl up, engage the glutes, and get to full extension. Nice, tall position at the top. Hold for a couple of seconds, bring them back down. So engage, push into the ground, and get those glutes firing. What we don't want to see here is that the hamstrings start cramping up. That's an issue. We want the glutes, the buttocks, to really be firing through these reps. So there's four, we're holding up. You also want to contract and work the lower abs so you create real activation and a really strong core through this motion. And when you can engage the core against the glutes, your golf string is gonna be more stable and much, much stronger. That's six down. Control the breathing as you go through these reps. Really make sure that you push up nice and tall. Finish them out all the way through. It's glute engagement, it's not those hamstrings. Feet are still flat. Big breath in on that last rep. Curl up, extend the hip. We hold and bring it down. Really simple set, but it's that concentration, that focused effort to engage the glute that's so vital. And then we go into the hip flexor stretch. You can do this with or without a band. If you have a band, it really does help. It distracts the joint and allows you to get more stretch, more dynamic, more range into that hip. So here, you want to feel as though this hip is in extension. Engage the glute. It's called reciprocal inhibition. Okay, so if the glute's working, the hip flexor has to relax. So you're gonna get a nice stretch. You can go a little deeper. You can work your way through. You can move, you can pulse a little bit if you want to. You might feel as though it's good practice to actually continue to contract the glute. That builds up that mind-body awareness and we're holding down deep into that position. So stretching all the way through the hip flexors. We all sit down too much, we're driving, everything else, they get tight. That massively inhibits your golf swing performance because once they're tight, we lose our posture, we lose the strength in the legs, we use our connection to the ground, and then we're gonna lose our ball striking as well. So sitting deeper into that lunge position, go as far into it as you want to. We're gonna go 60 seconds each side. To be honest, you can stay here as long as you want it to. Keep that glute engaged. What you might find is when you're not concentrating, you get a little lean back, you put pressure on the lower back. You want to feel as though, as we did in the glute bridge, the core is active, lower core, and the glutes are engaged. This is really strong, and the hip flexor has to be in the correct position. That's where you get the best stretch. Feels good, and then switch it out. Obviously, we're always gonna work both sides. There's a good chance, as a golfer, that you're gonna have some differences between right and left. Either way, we're always working both sides. So, this is just that stretch, so keep that glute firing. Sit down deeper into that split position. And just feel that hip flex again better. As we said before, you can do this without a band, but the band puts additional pressure onto the joint and really gets into the, the joint capsule, allows for a little bit more loosening, and it feels good as well. Maintain your position, maintain your breathing, and also 
Maintain your focus on the area that you're working. That does make a difference. So there we go, 60 seconds on each side. There's two rounds of this, so let's go straight in. You're gonna go 10 glue bridges, and then another minute each side on the band. Okay, we boosted our mobility. We're now gonna go into our second set of movements, which will be banded, good mornings, and deadlifts. This really is working the hinge pattern, going deep into the glutes now that they're nice and mobile, and helping you to push into the ground and create all the forces you need for great posture and great stability. So, for the good morning, not the most graceful movement to get into. Feet into the band, obviously suitable resistance where you need, you're going to take that band up around your shoulders and from here, make sure you keep a nice flat back, feet flat against the ground, knees bent, we push into the ground to extend the hips. So we load down, push up, 10 reps, really feeling as though you're working against the band, into those reps, stretching the hamstrings, loading the glutes, and then really extending the hip through that hinge pattern to hit those reps. 10 in total. Ten. Work your way through, out of the band. And this time we're going to the deadlift. So this is your normal deadlift pattern. We're really working the hinge. And even though it's the same kind of movement, with the pressure through the arms and through the torso, we have to engage the back, pull your shoulder blades together into a good position and then work the ground, work the big muscles, and build up your posterior chain. This time we double loop the band, both feet on both sides of the band, hands in, set that lower back, lock your shoulder blades down, stand up. So there's one, two. So even though we're only using a band, there's a lot of resistance, and I can feel my glutes, my hamstrings, Basically my entire posterior chain working really hard through those reps to get me to that standing position. So not only is this building up your body, we're also going to be building up that grip which is going to help you out on the tee box. So three rounds, 10 good mornings, 10 deadlifts. You're going to take a little bit of rest in between. Roughly 60 seconds. Let's hit those rema remaining two sets.
Make sure you choose your bands wisely because even though I train regularly, that's a tough set. So we worked on our mobility, we developed excellent stability through activation, now it's time to get dynamic and use some load to improve your performance. We've got two part combination here for asymmetry and rotation, both requiring high level force through the ground that's going to power your golf swing. The first movement is the Bulgarian split squat. So here we're going to load across the body. So if your left leg is on the ground, your right arm is going to take the load into that front rack position. So we rest the kettlebell on the forearm, the bicep and the shoulder. So it just sits in there nice and comfortably. What you'll find is a lot of people hold back here and all of a sudden you're really uncomfortable. So knuckles into your chest. You're then going to take a reasonable distance away from your platform. And we go into that single leg position. Again, you can do this without load. You can do it from any variable height. And the key is tracking the front knee over the front foot, sitting into the glutes, which are obviously really active from the work we've done already, keeping your core tight, neutral spine, and then pushing out the ground. So we're just going five on each side. It's a challenging movement. And we're looking to get that hip down as close to parallel as possible. So back into opposite position. We now refine our platform, switch arms, switch legs, and you track that foot, sit down deep into the squat, and then really feels like you push up. Anytime you do a movement, we're focusing on power. You want to feel as though you load slowly down the eccentric phase, and then really push up as fast as you can on the concentric. So slowly down, accelerate up okay think of it like your golf swing we want some good tempo in the back swing but once we get to that down swing we want to create all the speed into the club head at impact that's what we're trying to do here so we hit 10 reps on the bulgarian split squats we're then going to the rotational swings one of our favorites we want to really get the golf swing mechanics working here as we load the ground fire the hips and sequence through the whole body 20 reps, 10 on each side, and the key is using your legs. So we load, keep the knees slightly bent, load into your trail leg, rotate, and peak. Load, and rotate. So you can see with that motion there, the key is that our hips rotate down as we load, and then you push through the ground. So a lot of the force is coming through your legs, transfer it through the core, and then peak at the top, okay? So we push off that trail leg, push up with the lead leg, and get to that nice tall position, okay? That's where the pressure is then gonna go through the muscles, not into the lower back, not into the arms. We want everything coming from the big muscles in the body, just like we do the our swing, and yes, we always work both sides, build symmetry into the body, strengthen up so we don't get too dominant on one side. It's gonna help your anti-rotation, which helps your rotation. So 10 reps the other way, try and work on your pattern. Nice and aggressive, load and rotate. So, always keep the hips rotating, always keep a little bend of the knee so you're in control. That's how you load the big muscles. Rest 60 seconds, then we go again to finish it out. 10 Bulgarian split squats and 20 rotational swings. I'm gonna hit them up, make sure you're following along. Let's get this set done, and in just 15, maybe 20 minutes if you need a little bit more rest, you have an incredible golf workout that really does pump the legs, get you rotating, super stable, and builds on that mobility, that's what we need to do.
guys, your golf quad is workout complete. Mobility, stability, dynamic activation and rotation, even though it's a short time frame, it's such a good workout. This might be an addition to another workout that you're already doing. It could be a great warm up to go play, or it might be exactly what you need to start golf fitness and to get yourself in better shape on and off the course. The full workout is down in the caption below. You can check out the sets and reps. You can always get the best workouts in golf with Golf What. Okay, so we coach you through some of the movements in terms of equipment with the bands and the weights. Use a load, use a challenge, a resistance level that means you have to work hard but can maintain excellent form. Okay, so if we overload, we're going to break down in our quality, we're going to move slow. If we go too light, we're not getting the challenge that we need. Okay, so set it up to give yourself the best workout possible. Okay, so that was our first follow along video. If you made it to this point, we hugely appreciate you going through it all. We hope that you got something out of it back there as well and that you use this more often, whether it's before you go play or just throughout the week, okay? Make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, hit the comments, let us know what you thought. Let us know if you want more of these follow along workouts so we can deliver exactly what you need to golf strong.